hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video i want to dig in and tell you when do you buy the market when do you sell how do you even prepare i know majority of you would want to know by the way when i open my chart which is the best uh side to go on remember the market has only two players it's either you're facing the buyers or you're siding with the sellers it's either you choose to buy the market or you choose to sell the market. You cannot buy and sell at the same time. If you try to do that, your broker can ban you and you may lose access to trading for your trading account. So never try, let's say this is a pair GBP card, never try to buy GBP card and then sell GBP card at the same time. You will be banned if you try to do that, okay? So when do you buy the market? When do you sell? We already know um, market structure is what majority of people use. And we have three types of, we have a downtrend, up the are in control, and then we call it a sideways. It is the best time to buy or to sell. Now, you don't you don't choose, uh, I want to buy, I want to sell. The market structure will let you know. So this is what I do for any time I want to look for buy opportunity. I want to understand that if if I'm looking, if I'm looking at a, an uptrend, I will be looking for buy opportunity, but I don't want an overbought. An overbought is a market that has been buying for a very long time. I I always stay away from market that has overbought for a long time because at the end of the day, the sellers will come in and the market that uh, that sells mostly is a reversal market. So I really keep off market that has a very stretch buy. Again, if you want to, to sell the market, you'd be looking for market that is approaching on a downtrend. But again, you don't want a market that has been selling for a very long time because you may try to sell and the market reverses on you. If you have a ranging market, a ranging market are a bit easier to trade because you just put a box uh, a box, and we side, it will go that distance. If it breaks the lower side, it will go this distance. At least for the, for the ranging, you're not biased. Now, I want to teach you what... What do you check anytime you want to buy? Number one, you'd want to know the trend that you are on. Knowing the trend you are on, it is very easy because you can see a change of a trend very easily. For instance, this is our trade, and you can see we don't want to hope on a buy of a market that has been buying like this. You can see the market has, has been on a buy for a very long time since here. This is what I'm saying. The market has been trending since 2023 and now we are 2024 so for a whole year the market has been on a buy so anytime yes you are safe to buy but you can look for those reversals in the market retracement in the market because this market has really been buying so you can choose either to buy or you can choose to you can choose to to catch a reversal or a retracement of the market. So if this is your trend, it is on an uptrend. It is very hard, uh, and I will let and I'll tell you, it is very hard to come. Oh, because it's an uptrend, I will come here and place my buy because I am thinking the market will continue to go up, down, go up, down, go up. It's not as easy as you may look at it, but there's something that I will teach you that you will high highs and high lows. So I'll teach you high, high and high low what do i mean by high high and high low any uptrend market will will go making high highs and high lows so if it's an uptrend it will make high and a high low a high high and a high low so what is happening on this these are high highs so why do we say it's a high high because this particular place is higher than this and this one is higher than this and then for high low yes it's going high but it is lower so the market is going high but it is lower than this high low, high, low. So not this. That strategy is for high highs and high lows. If they disrupt this, you can have a quick opportunity and you can enter the trade and you can make money and you can enjoy. And let us try with the, the trade below. So if I look at this trade below, is it giving me high highs and high lows? Yes, it is giving me that. So let me delete everything so that you can try. So you can see the market really was in a ranging. That's what I'm saying. There are sometimes uh, trading a ranging market is so easy because the market you can see it was on a ranging channel so it was coming up down up down and eventually the range broke and to trade ranging is so easy because you will measure this distance of the box and the market will go up imagine entering that trade and it hit the take profit so ranging for me i feel it is easier ranging for me i feel it is easier and you can be able to make quick money and you're not afraid you're not afraid of thinking oh what will the market do um will it uh, go against me that's what i was saying 
the market structure ranging a feel is the easiest but you see that for it, it it does not happen so often so that's why majority of people don't trade it okay so ranging channel when it broke you enter by you put your stop loss around this area this is the last low and you can see the market never approached that area and it went and hit the tp so that was the ranging channel now if we just understand uh, with the high highs and high lows so where the the the, the ranging broke you can see where the ranging broke we we got a creation of our first high so we have our first high and this is our first low so i will have the market you will always have a high and you will also have a low okay so i have a high and i have a low now the question is you have to notice between the high and the low which one is being broken guys which one do you think is broken is it my low or my high if my high is broken it will create a high high so the market came and broke my high like this came and broke my high and i got a high high so this is how to tell the direction if it will change so it created a high high and when it came here you may be fooled that it has broken this but remember the law that you had previously the market never broke the law so it's you to do your homework and to understand which is the law that i'm following so this law is created by this high so we cannot we are not checking this one we are checking the law where the market broke so these sellers tried to come even this one this is not the correct law to check because it can confuse you so the correct uh, law to check is this one so in is it had a high and a low now this becomes our high 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 and high high but it's not happening high high and high low so this this between these supports this the first support this is higher than this but still it's a low this support is high but it's a low because it's a for sellers high low like that now we have something like that and then i'm trying to show you where, why do when do you determine if you will buy or sell now you have seen the market has broken another high can you see we have a breaking of this high the market has broken this high so we have another high high now what we don't know is that what will happen do we have a kind of a retracement so that we either go up or go down now this is your trade and this is how to determine the side who is in control in this case buyers are still in control because they have created the first high low high 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 low high high so we we can even spot this as a low a high low all this as a low but you will we will now focus on where market is currently now i want you to focus on what will happen on this market now we can start to see even if we we have a a high high buyers have attempted again and they are not supposed to attempt and fail to break this high because the thing is buyers if they are strong they're supposed to come and break here okay or if they seem like they are not able to break they come and break this high low so it's either they break it's either they break this side or they break for us this side because this is the low now that's how to determine which side you will be on and again you have to understand um that these supports that are so close to each other these are current support even if market breaks this current support red followed by green it will still come to this support red green it will still come to this area that's why i do not consider these close supports are so close to each other i don't consider so we can we can be looking forward to see how will the market behave when it comes to this area okay so it's either the market goes up we know we are continuing to buy or it breaks those because we were not here so you can say i will buy i've told you avoid entering any trade that has uh, an overbought unless you watch the market doing the thing as you watch just avoid it okay just avoid it so we will watch together and see what happened in this trade so the market the buyers since they are not able to push the market down because you can see they have started to break our support but this is not the 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 it is not the the main support the main support is this one this is not the main support for you to start putting yourself okay so we want to see what really happened 
uh, to that market. And you can see the sellers were so strong. Immediately breaking the first, uh, immediately breaking the first support, it also came and broke our first low. And that's how, guys, we change from uptrend to downtrend. I hope I'm clear. You have to know that any market that is creating high highs, high low, high highs, high low, if the sellers comes and break that low, we are now officially selling. And where will they come to target? They may come to target this area. They might even come here to target here because this is the lowest of that market. So how have we known that the market has shifted? If you still look at this market as an uptrend and you're thinking, oh, I will trade buy, I will trade buy, the trade reversed, has reversed on you and you don't even know. You don't even know uh, what to do. In, in Even if you go to lower time frame, you can see, let me, you can see, uh, you can see the market did not, they attempted what you were thinking the market broke. There is a breaking here. What we are calling that the market created a high high on lower time frame. There was nothing. So the market attempted that area. And you can see they have started to, to break our first low. On the daily is clear because there is no breaking on the daily. So even if you say now I will, I will, I will, I will trade, <clears throat> I will enter this trade and I will maybe target to this low. If you say I will target to this low, how many pips are these? If that is almost 200 pips, even if you say, let me just target 100 pips. I don't want even 200. I just want 100 pips, guys. Just want 100 pips like that. 100 pips is around that area. Just because of that breaking and the market breaking on you, and you say, I want to take 100 pips. You can see the trade dropped easily. Why did the trade drop easily with this big candle? It's because they have shown you that the market will always reverse if they break a chord. It's like a, uh, it's like a special chord. They always create high, 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 low, high, 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 low, high, high. The minute uh, the sellers become so strong, and we saw with this, I don't know if you can see, the three red candle broke lower high low one high low two and making it lower so the sellers are becoming lower and lower and if you want to trade anytime you want to trade just observe that any market anytime you want to trade anytime you want to trade let me even give you an example anytime you want to trade just uh examine um uh, just examine uh any high highs high low like here so if we want to trade this this is audi usd and I'm showing you this because um, you, you have to understand about high highs and high lows. If I want to show you this market was on an uptrend, okay? And the market is creating the first high highs and then it's create high highs. It can create high highs. And then the market starts to consolidate. Note, whenever the, the sellers, the sellers are not able to break when these sellers come here, they are defeated. They're not able to push the market lower than before. So instead of creating lower lows, they create high lows. So you can see sellers being defeated. Every time the market is trying to push, it gets defeated. And that's why we can use even trend line to show you the trend line and, and high highs and high lows it speak the same thing. So I want you to see uh, if you are trading this and you can spot is on an uptrend and it's a very stiff uptrend, you don't want to come and start putting your, your buys. You will first observe if you want to know, do I buy this market? Yes, it's on an uptrend, but do I buy or do I sell? Number one, you need first to identify all the areas, the supports and what you are checking and then observe how the market is going down. The fact that buyers came tried, you can see buyers tried how many times? They first tried the first time. Green, red is a resistance buyer tried. They tried the second time, never broke. They tried the third time, never broke. They tried the fourth time. Even you, you even if it's on an uptrend, you don't want to be entering a market that is not able to break that high. Okay, let's now look at support. So this support was attempted one, was attempted two, and now it is attempted the third time. Now the question is, who will win? And you can see the support is being broken. Resistance, they failed to break. So they started to break lower, and the market started to break lower. You can see they came here, they came here, and they were not able to break this low. But even if they are not able to break this low, even if buyers are attempting to go up, 
they are not able to break up. So if you're using the trend line, those who use trend line, they can say the market was retesting the trend line. Let's see what happened after that. After that, the market will eventually break this low. And now that is to tell you that the market has reversed and you are better selling than buying. And you can see the market kept breaking. And if at all we can observe how buyers are doing, let's see. See how buyers are doing. Buyers now are becoming very uh, weak. They are not able to push the market. So if you want to use that strategy, you can use it and you can just pay attention on high. You will always start with high and low, like I've started. You will always start, this is my high, this is my low. So you will always start like this. This is my high and this is my low. Whichever direction you, you break, break. And you can see what happened. The market broke the low and retested. So this is, they broke this low and they retested. And that's why the market was able to push down. Guys, guys, I have given you a strategy that is easy. You can apply it even on any, any, any trade. Let's say I, I, I was trying to check, um, let's say we take USD card. Uh, this is current market. USD card is current market. So on USD card, and because I'm observing this USD card, on USD card, you can see that the market has not able to break a high four times. You can see they have failed to break the high. But here was our low, Enrique, and it also have another low here. So if this market starts to break the low, that's how the market, of course, I will start supporting sellers. So at the end of the day, you need to understand which is your high. So you can say break that high or break this low. So you can have something like that on USD card. And this is this is a live market. You can say whichever direction you will break. Imagine I will I will trade it uh, up to that. I will trade it because it's like kind of ranging. So if that uh, market breaks there, it is coming to this direction. And you know, this still has this low. If they break this low, if they manage to break this support, do you know what the market will continue uh, going down because it will be an indication that sellers are strong. So anytime you come to the market and you are thinking, do I buy, do I sell? For instance, let me give you with GBP USD. So for GBP USD, I have, I have this low and I had, I have this high. So you have to ask yourself, where will they break? Where will they break? Yes, the market is on a downtrend. You can see it's on a downtrend. But where will they start breaking for me to realize that this market has really, it will give me a buy or a sell. So even if it's on a downtrend, I will not come and sell blindly. I will identify my high and I will identify my low. Whichever side they break, that's what I'm siding with. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have loved my lessons and if you want any um if you want any of my mentorship i have uh let me show you i have um classes that are ongoing i have uh one one month zoom class that i charge 1500 this is where i will be able to trade with you for a whole one month there are eight classes they happen on sundays and tuesdays and these classes are very 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 um very 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 important so i want to show you that flyer i made because sometimes people get scammed every day by people impersonating to be me and that's why i will always come here and tell you guys this is not me this is me so if i have posted something um so this is my channel if you have not followed me make sure you follow me so this is my channel so the class physical class is here, it happens in Kenya. I hope I'm sharing. Am I sharing? Yes, I'm sharing. So this is physical class, it's happened on in Kenya, it's a thousand dollars. And then I have I have a Zoom, Zoom, one month Zoom that will start on November. So this is the Zoom that will start on November 17th and it goes for 1500 one month. It is a trading webinar for those students who I cannot come to Kenya, it's from 9 p.m., 11 p.m. In these classes, what I'm teaching is profitable strategy that you can apply every single day. You can be profitable. Don't waste your time trying to learn by yourself. You just need to pay 1,500 and you can learn side by side with me 
you can start placing the trade side by side with me and you can attain at least profitable strategies by the end of the class. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. All the best. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love you.